Oh, they think that I'm really like nuts, you know, doing it because there wasn't enough studying. But instead of listening to those friends, mom Don Denizak brought 12-year-old Kayla to get her COVID vaccination at the so-called Vax to School Clinic at Bergen Newbridge Medical Center. She's deeply concerned about the highly contagious Delta strain, but says not everyone in her daughter's class feels the same way. It's 50-50. What do you think of that? I wish the parents would get um, their children vaccinated because it could, you know, spread really rapidly in the uh, classroom. And you do not want your kids in the ICU unit with breathing problems. I feel more safe having the vaccine because then I can do a lot more things with the vaccine and go a lot more places. We are seeing an uptick. Uh, rates are rising in New Jersey and that is concerning. Dr. Jean Kraft heads the American Academy of Pediatrics in New Jersey, where Governor Murphy today announced 13 kids are in the hospital with COVID, two in the ICU. He castigated anyone who'd refer to the numbers as only. When they say only, they are saying that they are perfectly willing to accept children landing in the ICU or dying from COVID. They won't say it out loud, but it's exactly what they are saying and I cannot be kind about that. Health Commissioner Judy Persichilli noted kids can also suffer long-term COVID. Long haul or prolonged symptoms of COVID-19 are also occurring in children, although less than in adults. The symptoms include fatigue, difficulty concentrating, brain fog and malaise. With the advancement of the variant, which we're seeing now in other states as well as here, we're getting reports from other states that there are children that are requiring mechanical ventilation, intensive care admissions. Holy Names Dr. Harry Banchik says such cases are rising rapidly in areas with low vaccination rates. Florida reportedly has more than 170 kids hospitalized with COVID. Cases in children across the U.S. doubled to almost 72,000 over the last couple weeks in July. We're seeing um very serious outbreaks, um, surges in some states across the country, and what we'd like to do is avoid that in New Jersey. Meanwhile, in New Jersey, more than half of 12 to 17-year-olds have gotten at least one dose of Pfizer's COVID vaccine, the only one approved for their age group. 43% are fully vaccinated, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, but school starts soon, right after Labor Day. I would love to see as many people get vaccinated as possible because the development of herd immunity will inhibit the, product, the formation of other variants. But some parents, like Jessica in Hunterdon County, still resist vaccinations and masks. We believe in good health. We eat a very clean diet. We don't eat fast food. We believe in our immune systems. But it's not just getting vaccinated that's causing sometimes acrimonious debate. On Friday, Governor Murphy announced all K through 12 staff and students must mask up when schools reopen this fall. People loudly protested Governor Murphy's renewed school mask mandate. I think that this mandate is coming out of nowhere. People are not wearing masks right now. Our numbers are not rising in the state of New Jersey. The hospitals are not overwhelmed. So why are we still putting our children through this psychological torture? Health officials strenuously disagree. The governor insists it's the only way to keep the Delta variant from spreading through students who are still too young to qualify for vaccinations. And Murphy says they're now studying vaccination mandates for teachers and staff and might have an answer in two or three weeks. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.